revert with the details. I will revert to you later. Do revert as soon as you can. This is not how the word revert should be used. So why are we using it? Someone probably wanted to sound smart and thought that, hey, revert was a better and formal way to reply. Could you come back with more details? Nope, not smart enough. Let's go to thesaurus.com and look for synonyms for come back. Oh, revert? This might make me sound smart. Wrong. If you say I will revert to you later, you might be grammatically correct but you're essentially saying that you will become that person later. Are there any situations where you can use the word revert to mean to reply? Yes. In fact, the Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary amended the definition of revert for its newly published 8th edition to include the meaning to reply and is used in a sentence, excellent opening, kindly revert with your updated CV. And we request you to kindly revert back if you have any further requirements. Clearly, there are two camps about this issue. The Singapore Speak Good English movement, for example, labels it a mistake that should be avoided in official correspondence. There are many people out there who want to sound smart, but you don't have to use bombastic words to sound smart. If you do want to use them, please go to dictionary.com. Instead of, please revert as soon as possible, how about, I look forward to hearing from you soon. It's easy to understand and I get what you mean instantly. So, if you're one of those people who use revert the wrong way, please take note and not revert to your old ways.